Okay. Um, so this one says ascorbic acid, which is also known as vitamin C, um, the uh, molecular structure or the molecular formula is written there, um, is a diprotic acid, and it gives us the KAs. KA1 is this, KA2 is this, and it's found in citrus fruits. Calculate the um, uh, equilibrium concentration of ascorbic acid, the equilibrium concentration of the um, monoanion of uh, ascorbic acid, the equilibrium concentration of the dianion, which isn't written up here, but it would be C6H6O6 2 minus, um, and the pH of this solution. If we've got an initial concentration of ascorbic acid at 0 0.050 molar, okay? So, first thing you're going to have to do is write this reaction equation down, okay? I just didn't do it because it takes a little bit of time and we were recording this one, okay? And we're kind of short on time in class. So, second thing we want to do is write an ice table, okay? So, so remember with the ice table, cancel that out first. So initial concentration of ascorbic acid. Like that. Minus x, like that. Zero, zero, plus x, plus x. So this is a weak organic acid, so we're going to be using that 5% rule eventually, okay? So even though we're going to write here, well, what's the equilibrium function? Zero concentration, 0 0.050 minus x, x, and x. Okay. So it also, wait, no, it doesn't give us the pH. But, um, so 5% rule is that, right? We just erase that x set. So let's write out what our equation for Ka1 is. What would it be? So I want you guys to write it out on your own and check up here and see if you get the same answer. Okay, so it's going to be. Concentration 
of H3O plus, like that, right? And since it's the concentration of H3O plus, it's also the concentration of that mono anion, right? So X equals that, that, and that. There. Okay? So next thing I want to do is just kind of put, so can I erase some stuff up here? Everybody got everything written down. Okay, wonderful. So I'm going to erase this and put 7.1 times 10 to the negative 4. 7.1 times 10 to the negative 4. Okay? So now I'm going to erase um, all of this bottom stuff down. So, what were some of the things it asked us? Well, could we figure out the concentrations of this stuff? Well, what would be the concentration at equilibrium of H2C6H6O6? Well, we invoked the 5% rule, right? So, at equilibrium, it's going to be effectively the same concentration. So, 0 0.050 mole, like that. Everybody okay with that one? Okay. The next thing it wants us to do is figure out, well, what's the concentration of uh, this stuff here? Okay. So concentration of H C6 O6. C6 H6 O6 minus at equilibrium is gonna be 7.1 times 10 to the negative 4 mole. Like that. Like that. Okay. Um, so the one thing we haven't written yet um, is the second equation. So that's the next thing it's asking for. But let's figure out what is the pH of this solution. So remember I told you the pH comes from just this first equation here. Okay. So let's figure out that first. So the pH of this solution is going to be the negative log, just like any other solution, of the hydrogen or hydronium ion concentration. In this case, it's 7.1 times 10 to the negative 4. Okay. Three point one five is the pH of this solution. So now we're going to find out what is the concentration, the last thing it's looking for, is the concentration at equilibrium of C6H6O6 2 minus. So it's looking for that one there. So how do we figure that out? Well, you guys don't need that up. Um, I'm going to erase all of this stuff up here. Is that all right? Okay, one. So in order to do that last portion, you have to remember the second equation of this, right? Which is, well, we start with that intermediate, right? that monodeprotonated thing. So like that. Is everybody okay with starting there? Okay. Adding H2O to that. And then C6H6O6 minus 2 minus equals plus H3O plus. Okay? So from that, we should be able to get the Ka2 equation. Is everybody okay with that? So Ka2 equals the concentration of C6H6O6 2 minus times. H3O plus concentration divided by this concentration up there, HC6H6O6, like that. Are you okay there? So we're going to rearrange this equation to solve for this at equilibrium. So when I do that, I'm going to get. H6O6 
So the only one you had to use that second equation for was the um, diana. Any questions on this one? Again, just using the ice uh, tables that you already know how to use, okay? 